and uh, we connect with many parts of the world and uh, we have living testimonies of people who have been with Africa cancer and the cancer has gone away by just praying here in Nigeria and sending the message online to them and we've had the people who are really in COVID, uh, you know, COVID-19 pandemic and the family almost dying, the father, the mother, the four children, they caught it from their children that went to school and they sent a message and then we sent back to them online and, you know, they confirmed the following day that now they went back to the hospital, everything was totally Killed. We've seen uh, HIV, we've seen cancer, we've seen a lot of things, and yet my prayer this morning and even this moment with you now, I want to be like Jesus. And I want to throw that to you. If you will pray, because God is no respecter of persons. John Wesley has said again, said, give me a hundred men that love none but God and fear nothing but sin, and we can turn the world upside down. Here we are were more than 100. If you will make up your mind, you don't have to do it here. You cannot even do it fully here. Get back home and say, Lord, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind. I want to be like Jesus. The Lord will make you like Jesus. And, uh, you know, I've had experience in teaching, in, you know, in the secular educational level, mathematics, complex variables. And I'm happy to say that many of my students that have not gone beyond me, and I, you know, sometimes meet a you know, past student, I said, where are you now? I said, I'm, you know, a professor now, I'm doing this and that. I'm a doctor now, I'm an engineer now. They know what I do not know. And I want to do that in Christianity. I want to raise up people that will go beyond me. And maybe we can start here, that you can say, Lord, whatever you have done in this man, by this man, through this man, with this man, do it with me. A man, a woman, surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and say, Lord, here I am, I am available. I love nothing and not but God. I fear nothing but sin. Use me the way you can, and the Lord will use you. And then we can, we can go beyond John Wesley now and say, give me a thousand people, give me a million people that love God with all their heart. all their soul, all their mind, and we can turn the world upside down. We can do it. I said we can do it. We'll start from our city here, from our nation here, from our country. In Africa, and who knows, we can change the the world i said we can change the world by his grace by his love in his mercy by commitment and consecration surrendering everything with god to him we can change the world Somebody was interviewing me just about uh, three weeks ago from London because he wanted to keep, take part in a global crusade. And he said, you are now 80. What do you still have? Uh, you know, you've not done. I told him 80 is just a number. But, you know, if you just thought, toss that aside, you're as young as your dedication. You're as young as your vision. You're as young as your love. And if you love God with that passion of a young person, and you say, I still want to make a mark before I leave the stage, God will answer your prayer. Moses started at 80. 
and I'm just starting at 80. And who knows how far we can go. And you and I teaming together, understanding the world needs us. Our people need us. This generation needs us. We can. And as to read the book, we come in, defender of the faith. Don't just read to appreciate read to embrace to accept god is no respecter of persons if god can do this through this man he can do more through you amen may the lord confirm that in every one of our lives in jesus name thank you and god bless you His grace, mercy, love, and commitment, we can change the world. Look at somebody and say, I want to be like Jesus. Say it the way our Father said. Together, we will change the world. Very quickly, we'll tell you about the fact that you can subscribe to the book. There are uh, copies available, and to subscribe, Yes, uh, we have the, the books, like I said earlier, in a wrapped hat cover, cover and paperback. So you can um, book for the book right here. You can pay for it. We have our ashes located uh, around. There they are. Copies of the books. So yeah. you can just pay as you are led by the Spirit to make this book get to those it should get to. And do remember, it's not about the money. It's about touching lives. Make sure you touch lives. I'm told the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sport has bought a lot of copies to touch the lives of young people. I'm told someone, uh, most of our GOs have bought a lot of copies to do the same thing and touch a life today. The account number is at the extreme end of the order form, so you can just even do a transfer right here. Thank you. With very that, much. we now very respectfully invite for both of things the member editorial board, Pastor Shegun Babatoke. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Praise the Lord. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Your Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State. Because of brevity of time, allow me to stand on existing protocols. I'm almost tempted to say in a very routine way how grateful we are to God. But I learned a profuse lesson from the lips of a man called Eliezer. He was going to secure a wife for his master, Abraham. And he prayed a very simple prayer. And God graciously honored the prayers. And he did one thing. After God had clinically answered the prayers, he said, the Bible says, he bowed his head and worshipped that God has had mercy upon my master Abraham and he has kept me in the way to where he was then. I believe we need to profusely praise God for today and for all that God has done. We couldn't have invited you. I like the part to invite any of you. God invited you here. God appointed this day and sanctified it. And the Lord walked in life of our just within our Father and the Lord to graciously accept the writing of the book. Whatever it is that is flowing that you see today, it is not the contrivance of a man. It is the perfect orchestration of the Most High God. And we can't thank God enough for what he has done. May his name be forever praised in Jesus' name. A better amen. amen. Thank God for the vice president who opened his heart to receive us.
and to kindly accept. And then also the governor of Lagos State who kindly accepted our request as he does all the time. He's a good man. And I want to appeal to us to come to pray for him. I've known him for about 20 years now. I do believe he needs to be prayed for more than ever before. He's planting a pastor just here and there. But one thing is needful, that has to do with the attitudinal transformation of people. However, the number of infrastructures who put in place without that attitudinal disposition and transformation, it may not endure. But under him, glorious things will take place. And I believe I can help him as my dear brother by saying that he will purchase 1,000 copies of the book for intercessors who will pray along with him. And then um, we will get you allow me to talk to him in camera. How that will go without betraying anything that I said. Mr. Gono, thank you for accepting. Let's put down together for him for accepting. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And the vice president I've known since my university days at the University of Lagos, he studied law, I studied mass communication. I, I do not want to breach protocol, but I believe also that very wisely and discreetly as he does, he will purchase X number of copies, which I will not announce openly, but which he will graciously accept. Thank you, Mr. Veteran Lesser. Let's put our hands together for him also. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for all of you are present, uh, former Chief Executive of States, my Lord Spiritual, all of you without exception, but overwhelmed by the quality of your presence here, the Lord will enlarge your coast and you all fulfill your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will lead you to a rock that is higher than you. You will finish well. You will finish strong. And by the grace of God, no evil shall be spoken against your life or ministry in Jesus' name. Our distinguished colleagues and gatekeepers of the media space are here. We thank God for all of them. They are respected core leaders of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry. National and State Overseers are here. We are so grateful to them. They have been in the ministry far ahead of us. We thank God for creating the space for us to contribute a lot in writing this biography about our Father and the Lord. And we want to thank God for all the members of the editorial board, led by our chairman, Pastor Philip Oluwi, is a fellow of the Charter Institute of Akandas of Nigeria. But over time, as he produced this book, he has turned out to be a journalist made at double quick time. Where is Pastor Oluwi, please? Pastor Oluwi, aha, uh -huh. that's him. An accountant, but now a journalist. Let's put our hands together for him. Praise the Lord. And also we have uh, Pastor Banjo Jawali. Can you be upstanding, please? He's one of the most prolific writers I've ever met in my life. One of the most prolific, and I'm not exaggerating. Then also, uh, Brother Yuri Amoma, he's a senior civil servant with Lagos State Government. Brother Andrew Imoru is executive for Shell Development Company. Where is he? Brother... Steve Obidi. Steve Obidi is the CEO of his own company. Pastor Maker is easy. is the former managing director and excellent chief of the Garden newspapers. And also our in house professor, Professor Kweibi or Professor Kwe Davis, who is a consultant of style and a word processor. These are the people that God has used to put these people together. And also, without uh, downplaying the role that they play, uh, they are passed off from place to United Kingdom, uh, and region of Asia, United Kingdom, Pastor Paul Lakowe. He was the one that lingered with the publisher. Pastor Paul Lakowe, can you be upstanding, please? God bless his soul in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish I could go on and on to thank all of you, but I do believe that where I suffer any default, 
God will help me to convey the gratitude to you. Finally, we cannot but thank our Father and the Lord, a pastor, a mentor, a leader, a teacher, who has played a very, very, I do not know how to put it now, glorious roles in our lives. Many years ago, I was asked, asked to stand as a district pastor. I didn't want to do it because being a journalist, and a journalist, anyone who is so well trained, loved his work. I felt that being a journalist and playing a peripheral role was more than enough than taking on the daunting role of a minister and a church. So when I was asked to call for interview, I refused. Then a leader then called me and said, why did you refuse? I didn't answer him. I, just, I, did, I didn't tell him that I wanted to just play a nominal role, not one at the central. He said, well, our interview is coming because in a church, you must go through a rigorous process of interview before you can ever become a leader. So another one is coming. And if you refuse to attend that one, step away, some of us were appointed. I said, okay, sir. I made up my mind that I will not attend still. Then a night before that event, the Lord came like a war went to my life and said, you don't own your life. You belong to deeper life. That's where you remain. That's the rule assigned to you. I woke up with a bed of sweat that forever I become a bond slave of the Lord under the ages of a father and the Lord. Thank you, sir, for the rules I played and for mommy also for giving us the leeway and the platform for us to write this book. Uh, we have written very strongly about the book from what we are saying. And if there's anything we have discovered, is that we discover in our Father and the Lord, a man who got a pattern revealed to him, who has stood by the pattern over the years, who is keeping the pattern at the age of 80, who will rise at the time of glory with that same pattern. Just as Moses was told, see that thou build according to pattern. I want to commend the book to all of you and their fathers brothers and sisters and gentlemen, buy the book and read it. If we buy the book without reading it, it will not do any good. Read it and extend to others. Perhaps, perhaps the paradox that the suffering that is facing our country will be changed. Our country is one of the greatest spiritually in that country in the whole world. The largest churches are in Nigeria. The largest number of leaders is to be found in Nigeria. And yet, the most stigmatized nation in the world is about our country. Perhaps, when we read the book, and God changes our lives by the book, and changes our ministry, perhaps, I don't want to be presumptuous, and begin to build according to pattern, a glorious day will come to Nigeria. And the prophecy that have been declared become fulfilled in Jesus' name. The Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Governor of Lagos State, Adair's Father in the Lord, our distinguished keynote speaker, the book review, and everyone who has competed in what we're going to discuss this launch. I say thank you. God bless everyone in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Great things he are done. So love in the world that he gave us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture to give us 
the benediction is a mother in Israel. Please let's make welcome the national and international coordinator, Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Reverend Dr. Mercy Ezekiel. Resonating, reverberating, round of applause for our ladies and gentlemen. Can we all stand? We are about to share the benediction. And when we share the benediction, grace will double in our lives. And uh, today, it's a very much day. If you have not been sharing grace, share it today. Because we have seen a man with double grace. Now I miss the grace. Surely, and you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll take the national anthem. My name is Tokwe Ojime, and my twin brother is Adedeji Udulisi. So we are sons and grandsons, because some people have harassed us that there are levels of sons. We are sons, we are also grandsons of our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. The national anthem now. presidents and his excellencies to take their leave before we follow thank you remember you can subscribe and this is the way to subscribe yes the account details is at the very end of the the, the book the, the, the book of the form you can subscribe to deeper christian life ministry send it account number one two one six three one zero two five three you can get it as wrapped hard copy hard, wrapped hardcover hardcover and paperback you can also get copies online you can subscribe online and we have a lot of copies available. There are there souvenirs. Cocktail. There's a cocktail outside for everyone. There are souvenirs being passed around. Get your copies of the souvenirs and please participate in the cocktail. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. the
now. Something here. alone who took on flesh fullness of God in help less be this gift of love and righteousness I can't by the one hair. he came to save till on that cross Record. 